Hello, this is another installment of the video series for HPLC, Chimatsu HPLC users and operators. This is system we're working with today is a SCL 10AVP controller with a SIL 10AF all sampler. It's very common in the market and you may have one in your labs. So let's just let's talk about how we're going to go ahead and replace the needle today in the instrument. First thing we all want to do is make sure that the controller is turned off and we are backed out of any kind of software that you may have. That will turn off the power to the auto sampler. Next thing we do, remove the injection, excuse me, the uh, sample tray. The sample tray holder simply lifts up and out. Once the power is down from the system, we can go ahead and move this arm out of the way. If your needle happens to be here and possibly lowered, you can simply move it by hand very easily, up or down now. Make sure the needle is out of the injection port and out of the needle wrench port. If it's not, when you move the arm, you will bend the needle. So make sure this is in the upright position. Once that is done, we can move it out of the way and move that needle easily forward. The top nut here will need to be loosened. Screw that in a counterclockwise fashion. Once that is done, you can drop this clear to the bottom. That's going to allow you to get some room to lift the needle out. Pull the needle out carefully. This is what you're going to have. You have the sample tube here. The nut that holds it, which slides up, and then you have the needle itself. Use your fingernail or a very thin razor blade object to stick underneath the tubing and simply pull the needle straight off. This is what you're going to have left. For demonstration purposes, we're not putting a brand new needle on here, but I do want you to see how a new one would go back on. You would take your old needle, which could be a new needle. Something to keep in mind as well. Look at the tubing that will be connecting to the needle. Make sure it is not white, stiff, or opaque. If that is the case, you're going to want to carefully clip off a section of that. If you clip that off, you're going to want to take some of this excess tubing and just gently pull it through. What we're doing is allowing for movement in the XYZ position, okay? So I just made a little more tubing, pulled it through gently to compensate for any piece that you may cut off here. Once that is done, you place the needle and the tubing on there, push down. Once you put the tubing on the syringe, excuse me, the needle, take some nitrile gloves, rubber gloves. That helps you get a good grip on this plastic tubing or Teflon tubing. And then you simply gently push forward and I'm pushing down the tubing and I'm rotating the needle as I'm doing that. The object is to get the tubing so it seats flushly on top of the stop of the needle right here. If you can get a good shot of that. Okay, that's our objective there. Now we come back over here. And get behind. We're placing the needle inside of the needle guide. Going down here. All right. Push that all the way to the bottom. Now we can move this back up. Like I said, with the power off, it'll move freely. Now you screw this back down. It should go in gently and easily. It should not be bound up in any way. Make sure that's snug. Keep them in the upright position. And there you go. That's the final procedure for changing out the needle.